Hello, everyone, everyone. I am here for my review of 91105 Season 5, Episode 3. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows as well as scripted shows. If you're returning, you're one of my people. Welcome back. This episode was not as stressful as the other episodes were, so I am glad about that because, like, it's bad enough trying to watch 911 on Fox and then turn around on Wednesday and watch American Horror Story and my blood pressure going up and down. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't too much going on. So we start off, it is 2020 and a thing that she is, you know, trying to find attacker man, he finds her, attacks her. I didn't know that she had shot him in the head and in the groin. Yeah, so they see we see him at the hospital, and you know the doctor is explaining what's going on with him and everything. This, that, and the third. We got some creepy cop in the hallway, you know, smiling and whatnot. And then we we like rewind to like maybe like a week or so ago. <laughs> He's mad at lawyer lady. First day they spoke they supposed to cap his body, they just throw him off into like a like a little high grass area and like, okay, maybe he just die on his own, or maybe, you know, some wild animal come and get him. But thankfully nothing happened. But he's blaming the lawyer lady. She was like First of all, you was a messed up lawyer that you didn't get me off on these rape charges. Now you didn't made me a, a killer. She's like, you didn't do what I did. He's like, no, and then killed her. Now it's like, see, stupid lawyer lady, that's what you get. You not going to risk your freedom, losing your license and everything for this man, only for him to turn around and then shoot you. And he was stupid, too, because instead of, you know, going off to Mexico or maybe to Canada or somewhere else, he decided he going to stay. He going to go to Athena's house, sniff on her underwear, lick on it a little bit, and then kidnap Harry. So you, you just adding more on to your charges. Escape, murder, kidnapping, impersonating the officer. You could have sat there, you could have not escaped and may not have got time because you could have been like, no, you know, she was, you know, she was doing too much. I ain't did nothing. But no, but then I was like, they going to use that him getting shot in the head is the reason why he acting stupid. Then he says, I'm going to taunt Athena. Harry's on the phone. It's like, I'm fine, mommy. You know, everything's cool. Then dude gets on the phone talking all kind of mess. I'm like, see, you could have just left town and not done all these things. It took them five days before they realized you was gone. You know how far you could have gotten in five days? But no. So now we see some lady, she walking her dog. First, Harry, he was able to slip out of the car and run away, but you know, a tagger dude got him. And some lady was walking her dog. And he was, she was, Harry was like, hey, lady, look. This man is not a police officer. Help me, help me, help me. And the lady didn't know what to do. She's like, if you're a police officer, show me your badge. She gets out her photo. Here's like, record this. Okay? Record this. But luckily, the, day, the lady did record what she saw and put it on social media. But since it's a power outages, it was hard for her to stay online long to put the video up but we did see that you know harry was out there and we seen it at that point harry was alive he was smart enough like hey get your phone out and put this on social media i seriously thought attacker dude was gonna shoot that lady i really really did so early in the video in the episode Bobby, he's stressed out about Harry being missing, and he's he's not handling it well, rightfully so. So they get called down to the no police zone because somebody even got shot. Now, I was like, is this something that's always there, or did this just happen during the blackout? Like, how y'all just be like, no police here, and the police are like, you know what? Okay, our bad, and just walk away. Bobby wasn't here, and then he kicked down that barricade, and it's like, do something. 
Well, somebody called up from up in here and said they didn't got shot. So they went over there and helped out. And, you know, they was like, hey, you know, you all right? What's this? It's like Harry done got kidnapped. And, you know, 118 with Athena and Maddie and a little bit of the call to the people, they all family. Everybody, they family. So they that hit them hard, too. But attacker dude, he calls the thing over there to the pol no police zone. Okay, cool. She did already slipped away from Michael over it, you know, lady who took the video's house. Aline, Athena tells, I guess, the security guard in the no, no police zone, hey, there's somebody up here. I, I need protection. Here's a police officer. And she shows the woman a video. They pass it around. And then they see attacker dude. And I was like, see, I wish they had have used, like, some kind of, like, code, like, you know, something, do something, and that like, there he is over there, and everybody bum brush him and give him a, a chance to get, you know, escape, but that gives him a chance to run away. Well, it seemed like a thing that, that was a part of our plan to lure him into the certain area, because next thing you know, doggone 118 flash and light on, dude, like, what's up? A thing that got her flashlight and gun out, like, what's up? And she was like, where's my son at? He's like, oh, was that your husband over there? And goes to, like, shoot at Bobby and Athena doggone pumps him up with some hot lead. Now we got to find out where Harry is. We're coming to find out it wasn't even no bullets in the gun. So now we got to figure out where Harry is. Ain't no telling. The last time we seen him with Harry was, like, four or five hours ago. Then we was like, okay, where the areas has he been in? Okay, was it Renard's house? That's his name. I was, is it Renard? Because his name was Renard on um, Grimm. I think it's Renard on here too. But anyways, they at the police station. They looking at some stuff. That's like, um, okay, this is the area where he was at. Okay, that's like, it was some areas that been, you know, vandalized. And, you know, Michael's like, did they take, did they take keys? They put two and two together. They get to these um, houses that have been built on. So they looking around, A, B, and C, and D, but he had already sealed him up in the wall and painted over it. So, like, wouldn't nobody think to look inside of the wall? Thankfully, thankfully Buck was, you know, in the backyard looking. He's like, I see, I found these paint cans. Does that mean anything? And the thing is like, okay, paint, okay. This wet paint over here, they knocked down the wall. Thankfully, Harry is all right. By the end of the episode, Harry, he wasn't he wasn't trying to talk. He wasn't trying to say anything. He said he's all right, but we know Harry's not all right. We know he's not all right. Child and then first we have Eddie breaking up with Anna, and I don't know where this came from because it was like two episodes. Was it last episode or two episodes ago? It was like everything was fine for them. He liked her, but was scared at first, like last season, that Christopher wasn't going to like her. But then Christopher likes her. Christopher's happy. They were supposed to be going to a wedding. And now he's having these panic attacks. I'm like, what happened? Now he's talking about something. I know you love Christopher, and I thought things was going to happen. I was like, I thought that he really liked her. What was the switch? We got these two breaking up, and then we got Maddie Dog on taking the baby down to the to the fire station because she doesn't feel that the baby is safe around her because she's still going with her, through her postpartum depression, which luckily she knew that her mind wasn't she wasn't in the right state of mind for the baby before she did anything, and that probably happened like last week when like she fell asleep while giving the baby a bath. So now she she knows like I can't do this, so I'ma leave her with her daddy and so I don't know if it's forever or until she gets her 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 mind right. So y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe to us for y'all day every day for ninety nine. Make sure your notifications are on so when my beautiful face puts up a video, you can click on it, you can like it, and share it with your people, and you can come over and be one of my people. If you're already one of my peoples, uh, welcome back.
y'all know what to do. You tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my people by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.